This is the Salawa Trek Light 2 and today this is what I will be reviewing and Luna. But first let's check the specs. The Light Trek 2 is a lightweight two person tent which weighs in as it states at 2.4 kg. I bought it for 260 euro from the Great Outdoors and got the free footprint which adds an extra 300 grams to the overall weight. In the bag you get three aluminium poles, 10 lightweight pegs, a repair kit, the tent itself which is a 3000 millimeter waterproof rating and the floor with 5000 millimeter and four guy lines. So that's the tent up. Um, looks really really sturdy. Uh, really happy with the, the how, how, how strong it looks. The poles are aluminium and it's freestanding so it stands even without any of the pegs set up. And the pegs are extremely lightweight. Um, it doesn't barely weigh anything, which is fantastic. There's a ventilation uh, zip at the back. Um, quite small, so I don't know how effective it's going to be, but let's see. It goes back into the other one, and there's a, there is a zip in the inner lining as well. I haven't clipped on the guidelines, but uh, this is where you clip on the guidelines. Um, this is quite handy, these little tabs here, when you're actually uh, threading through the poles, you pull on them, that opens it out. It's handy because it's really, really quick to put up and it would be very, it's very, very handy, in, in especially in bad conditions, if you're putting it up in bad conditions. It seems to be quite well designed that way. So let's take you inside, let's have a look. What's really cool is the inner lining is already in there as you put it up so it makes it so much more handy and it means that you, the inside is, is not getting wet but a, another cool feature are these clips and they go back the whole way up the tent so if you wanted to let's say not have the outside you just wanted the inside or you just wanted the outside just it just it's just quick quick clips and it, it's quite useful the inside tube you have a zip opens up fairly standard but let's have a look inside <coughs> yeah so on the inside quite spacious uh, it is a two-person tent no that one second so yeah it does seem quite spacious I mean one person here another person here thankfully me and Aoife are quite short and we also have a dog So it might be a bit it might be a bit cozy. Yeah, so we see especially with the sleeping mats how they hold up and how much room we're actually gonna have. I'd be very interested to see. Um I'm a bit I'm a bit doubtful about the about the ventilation. I don't know if that's gonna hold up too well. One thing I will say is that there's no storage. So all you really have is this little door here, which really is used to keep the door nice and tidy. And also a similar door here, this door nice and tidy. So I would really have to mark it down and not having much storage. But um, yeah, there are very few things so far I see that's wrong with the tent. You have a place here, you have three little things here. You can stick your guidelines, you can stick guideline in and you can have a little thing, you can hang something a light or maybe even some clothes or something. Uh, one other thing, the vestibule is not that big. You can see this, the, you can probably lean your bag up. But really, really cool thing is you can clip these off And you can move it back so that you have more room for cooking, so that it shelters you from the rain. And as I said, that goes all the way back. So you can sit here, shelter from the rain, do your cooking and have enough ventilation so that uh, you're not suffocating yourself with gas or anything like that. Very impressed with it so far, but really, really want to put it to the test. We decided to test it out at Anna Strand on Ackle Island, which I'll be making a separate video on. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when that's out.
Light Trek 2 held up really, really well. Very, very impressed with it. Now, we're only two small little people. Um, but <laughs> if you're if if it was to be two fairly big burly blokes, um, I think it would have been a bit too tight of a squeeze. The condensation valve. I wasn't too sure about that to be honest with you. I was like, I don't think it's going to be enough. But very little condensation, so pl very pleasantly surprised with that. Really, really, yeah, really, really nice tent. Very easy to put up. Um, it, it'll be very easy to put down. Um, there's very little wrong with this tent. One of the big problems I would have is storage. The vestibule, of course, is very small. Very small space. We could fit our bags there. Um, but as I said, you can you, if, if you need to cook, you can, you, can, you, can, you can pull this back. I suppose one other small thing was when the guidelines are up. So when the guidelines are up, that's fine. But the in, but the outside of the tent, if it catches the wind, it is going to blow against the inside. You can see there, like it blows against it, even though if the guidelines are up, it's still going to blow against it. That's what's all packed up. Leave no trace. This here is a lovely little tent and I'm very happy with my purchase. It's designed very well and it's built solid like it's supposed to take up to 90 kilometer per hour winds and from staying in it you, you can see you, you can see that it can take a battering the way it's good for a two person at 2.4 kg it's it's fairly easy to set up and to take down as well one of the things i really liked about this tent was that the inside was connected to the outside and uh, when you set it up that that it's it's ready to go of course that leaves you with a small vestibule the vestibule can be overcompensated by clicking the the, the quick release clips and the, the the design that they've come up with to maximize and utilize the space and um, that's in it is it, it's very clever and it, it's something that I really really like. I was really surprised by the ventilation of this tent. I, when I had it first up, when I saw the small little vent, I wasn't expecting it to to um, hold out that much. But it it does a really good job. Like I mean, there was three of us in the tent, me, Eve, and the dog, who you probably just heard sigh in there. The three of us were cozy in it, and I, there was very little condensation. Good as it is, however, there are points which can be proved upon on in this tent i think one of the big ones is storage and um, there is not strange thing that they've done i don't really know why they decided not to storage um but it is what it is now the other issue that i alluded to earlier in the video with the outside hitting the inside um i was sleeping on that side so it was rain. It was it was it was raining that night, and the cold outside just kept flapping up against against my arm, and it, it was quite annoying. And even with the guy line attached, um, it still doesn't pull it away if the wind is blowing at the side of the tent. So my final thoughts on this tent: I would recommend anybody to get it. Um, I think it's a solid tent. I think it's reasonably priced uh, when you look at other tents out there. Um, two person tents and um, yeah very very happy with it and looking forward to some more adventures in it as well so thank you very much for watching and um, if you like this video please subscribe about load more videos on on the youtube channel mountain mike's adventures uh, check out my socials there and there somewhere here also if you enjoyed it you found this video useful and you thought to yourself do you know what i'd love to buy that fella a beer well you can on coffee so if you have enjoyed it, then uh, yeah, check out my coffee. Uh, all links will be in the description below. Anyway, guys, um, take care and happy hiking and happy trails. See you later.